Cartilage is a specialized form of connective tissue um, that is located between the joints. And most people think of cartilage, they think of the articular cartilage or the hyaline cartilage um, between the bones. And what it does is provide a lubricated uh, surface to absorb some of the forces and friction between the bone. Um, cartilage can get injured a number of different ways from a, acute trauma, uh, from chemical irritation, uh, being obese and poor nutrition, um, as well as just kind of chronic wear and tear, usually as a result of poor bio biomechanics. Um, some of the things that have been done to treat cartilage, uh, typical tr treatments include uh, anti-inflammatory medicines, uh, steroid injections, physical therapy, or uh, a surgery, such as a knee replacement for worn down knee cartilage. Um, the problem with cartilage is that it's, it's difficult to heal um, because it has low blood supply or no blood supply. Um, and so those cells that create the cartilage um, don't have as much nutrients to repair. And as we get older, the ability to repair uh, is lessened. Things that we do differently than traditional treatments uh, include things such as uh, platelet-rich plasma or PRP uh, and stem cell treatments. Uh, the goal of these treatments is to provide uh, growth factors or healing cells that can actually repair the injuries uh, that can happen with cartilage. Um, traditional treatments such as anti-inflammatories or steroid injections cover the inflammation and mask some of the pain, but they actually make the cartilage worse. Also with those steroid injections, the numbing medicine they use can directly damage or injure and kill the cartilage cells. So while they may make you feel better in the short term, they make you worse overall. Uh, surgeries are typically more invasive, have a lot of risks such as risk for heart disease, um, stroke, um, blood clots, uh, infection, and typically have a long recovery period afterwards. Uh, with the injections of the platelet-rich plasma or PRP and stem cells, uh, typically downtimes are much less and we're initiating healing instead of causing damage to the tissues. Uh, PRP is made just by a simple blood draw from the arm, um, taking your blood and processing that down in our lab to get out the portions of platelets and growth factors that can stimulate healing and repair. Uh, stem cells um, can be found in many different tissues, but the best for orthopedic conditions and for healing cartilage has been found to be uh, from the hip bone. Uh, and so we uh, have a process of removing the stem cells from the hip bone, processing uh, that in the lab, um, and can re-inject that directly at the areas where you have injuries or defects in the cartilage. The difference here at Regenix is that we use ultrasound or fluoroscopic guidance for all of our procedures, so everything is directed exactly in the area uh, where we would like to inject our treatments.